Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing my lipstick declutter. I cannot wait to do this. I have been putting this off for so long, but it is so necessary. My lipsticks are overflowing on my vanity right now. They are hogging all of the space and we need to say goodbye to quite a few of them. So I currently have two of these completely full. I have one of these completely full. It looks like there's some holes right now because I have lipsticks laying on my desk. It's just a mess. And then I have more that don't even fit into those little acrylic organizers. Like I said, they're overflowing. And I promised myself at one point that I was not going to purchase more lipsticks than I could fit into one organizer because I was like, it's just not necessary. And then I got a second organizer and then a third, and now I don't fit into them. So we need to cut some of these out of my life. It's too much, it's too many for me to use, and I do wanna make sure that I have a good amount of lipsticks to use here on YouTube when I'm doing makeup tutorials and things like that. And obviously I have done a lot of lip swatch videos. I have one on Milani lipsticks, I have one on ColourPop lipsticks, Morphe lipsticks, what else? All of my MAC lipsticks, I have ones on the ColourPop Lux lipsticks, so it's a lot. But even from a YouTube filming perspective, it's too many for me to ever wear. So we're gonna clean this up. Obviously makeup waste is a huge issue right now because in the makeup industry, there are new launches left and right. So I have held on to a lot of these lipsticks for far longer than I should. So know that, that a lot of these are actually just expired and I need to toss and I've had them for years and years. But other ones, if they are new and not expired and I don't wanna keep them, I will be donating to my friends and they are very excited about that. So they're not going to waste. I'm not going to be tossing anything that's not expired. I will give to my friends, of course, but hopefully this is just helpful for you guys to see some swatches and just get my thoughts and opinions on the different formulas and brands that I do have. So if you wanna see this huge lipstick declutter, stay tuned, we will jump right into that. Before we do, if you could please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, that would mean so much to me and really help me out. I post three to four new videos every single week for you guys, so also click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out. But for now, we're going to declutter some lipstick and let's jump into it. Welcome to my lair. Um, hi. Okay, so sorry if you can kind of see my reflection in the mirror right there. I'm doing this at night, so I'm using my new lighting that I just got, but hopefully this all is set up fine for you guys. So we're just going to do this row by row. I tried to group everything together by brand and product type. Yeah, we got a lot. Let's just go right through it. I'm going to try to be cutthroat. My rule usually when I'm cleaning out my closet is if it's a maybe, it's a no. So I'm going to try to implement that here because clearly... Yeah, we got a lot. Okay, so starting with my Milani lipsticks, I know that this is one I'm gonna keep. I wanna show you guys. It's called Teddy Bear. Oh, so beautiful. And I wanna keep this because I don't have a ton of other lipsticks. That's this shade. I love it. It's just like a nice brown mauve. Keep. Next, we have Raisinberry. So this one... I think I am going to donate to my sister or my friends. Whenever I say donate, I'm giving these to them because I already asked and I know that they want them and they're really excited. I don't wear shades like this a ton. I think it's really beautiful, but it's just not something I reach for all that often. I'm very particular when it comes to lipsticks. Like I pretty much wear one kind of lipstick color. So I will try to keep a good variety for YouTube videos, but I feel like I already have one from MAC that's kind of similar. So donate. Okay, this shade Burnt Red right here, I'm definitely keeping. This is beautiful. It's really just like a true burnt red. I love that. Just like a good rusty undertone, even though that sounds gross. Perfect for fall. Oh, Honey Rose. This one's so good too. I'm gonna put it next to Teddy Bear because they look like they'd be similar, but this one is definitely more like peachier, even though it's not like a peach lip. You know what I mean? When you compare the two, this is more brown. This is more peachy pink. I'm keeping. Okay, next we have Burnt Red by Milani. Oh my gosh, this shade too. Killer. Look at that. I ended up in that lip swatch video loving all of the darker shades and preferring those to the nudes. You guys will see here when I swatch these nudes, they're just not really nude. You know what I mean? Like they're just really pink and not 
Eh, you'll see. Okay, but that one I'm keeping. I don't really have many reds and that one's definitely unique and super bright and vibrant okay this is naturally chic and it's just not really a shade i wear all that often it's really similar to honey rose but honey rose is a little bit deeper a little bit more orange than this it's pretty if you like a light pink but like mm, not my kind of color okay and then the shade pretty natural you guys i was so confused putting this on because it just there's nothing natural about this undertone it's very violety when you swatch it on the lips and it looks actually pretty in the viewfinder but it's like a bright pink violet which is fun if you like that kind of shade but i was really expecting that to be more of like a true neutral pink and it's just not so getting rid of that and then dolce caramello i know i'm getting rid of because the finish of it is actually like frosty i love this shade if they had this and just a normal cream finish i would be obsessed because it's so pretty that is like a true neutral pink, but I don't like that frosty lip. I liked that in like 2016, you know? So we have four we are getting rid of so far. I'm doing pretty good. And then let's just swatch these. So two more, the shade Plum Rose. I know I am getting rid of. I don't reach for shades like this hardly ever. And this is very, very similar to the shade Craving from MAC. Let me see if I can find that in here. Wow, that was first grab. That was impressive. I actually got these little clear lids from Amazon so that I can see the shades better because it's just so hard to tell when you have a like large lipstick collection like I do. So I will link those in the description box below. But here is Craving from MAC and that's that Milani shade. You guys can see they're so similar, slight differences, but I definitely don't need both because I hardly ever wear lipstick like that. It's so fun to look at, and every time I swatch it, I'm like, oh my god, I need to wear a shade like that, and then I always change it last minute. Okay, last Milani shade is Rose Femme. Really pretty, kind of like a grungy mauve. Not really my kind of shade, so I'm gonna give that to my sister as well. Wow, so we are getting rid of all of these from Milani. And we are only keeping four. That's very asmr -y. Let's just move on to these Maybelline ones because I only have two. And I know I want to keep both of these just because I definitely do want to have drugstore options for YouTube videos. And these are both really pretty. So this is from their For Me range. And they basically just did like a color range of lipsticks that's supposed to be universally flattering. So this is Mob for me. Really pretty. I would say that's more of like a warm brown with like a hint of mauve than a true mauve, but really pretty. Yeah, that looks more mauve to me. Don't you guys think? This is pink for me. So I really like both of those. Maybe I will do a swatch video on all of their for me range. So they also have like reds and pinks and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys are interested in that below. I definitely can. Keeping. Oh. I also have been keeping my lipsticks upside down if I can with the label up. Same kind of thing that I was saying about those MAC lipsticks. I just, I need. Okay, these are Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I feel like these are so underrated. Nobody really talks about them and they're beautiful. This is the shade Manic and it's just a cream red. It is stunning. Like, look at that. Pigmentation, oh my gosh. There's something like slightly purple in the undertone. I don't know if we're picking that up on camera, but I love it. I am going to keep that. It's so beautiful. Then I have the shade Trip right here. So this is a comfort matte versus this was a cream. And this is, oh, I love that too. That kind of undertone in a red, I just think is so flattering on a lot of different skin tones and like different hair colors and eye colors. It's just really pretty. Kind of that like burnt red vibe, but this one's definitely more terracotta than orange. And I don't even really know what terracotta is now that I think about it. So maybe it's not, but... That one's really pretty as well. I hardly ever reach for these because I just forget about them. So hopefully this declutter will help me reach for these more because I'm obsessed. And the last one, okay, you guys, I feel so sentimental towards this lipstick. It's called Cruel and it's a metalized color and it's another type of red. Oh my gosh. Again, the pigment on these. 
So this is one, again, when Frosty Lips were like back in in 2016 and Metallic Lips were like it for a minute. That was very short lived, but I got this during that time and this was like the end of my senior year of college when I got this and then through that summer when I wore it constantly. So this just reminds me of that time and it really makes me want to keep it. Oh my gosh. Let's just do some of these random ones because the rest are all together as a brand. So the first is this Wet n Wild lipstick. I used this in a video that I filmed recently showing like a full face of new Wet n Wild products. I'll put a card for that here. This is one of the ones I tried. I was blown away by the lip combination that I used in that video. It was actual perfection. This shade is Skinny Dipping and I really enjoy the formula. It says it's a matte. I would say it feels more like a cream, but it does still kind of look matte, you know? It doesn't look shiny on the lips. So I love that, and this color is everything. That's what I'm talking about for like a good neutral, you know? Um, keep. Okay, so this is one of the Tarte, what is it, Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks, if I said that wrong. Don't get upset with me. In the shade Set Sail, and again, this is like, a college shade for me so okay also like how expired right I should toss this because it's definitely expired and I don't reach for it that often honestly just because I feel like I have so much going on but that undertone and that color is so stunning and maybe I need to like repurchase Ugh. nobody ever talks about these either and the formulation is so great coverage is amazing pigmentation is amazing super creamy and I love that color what I was gonna say is, again, kind of in college, this was another huge trend, that like mauve lip, and I don't wear that as often now, but now I kinda want to again. So I'm going to toss that because it's expired. Anything that's expired, I need to toss and cannot donate, obviously. I'm not trying to give my friends a lip infection. Okay, and then I do have two Jeffree Star lip ammunitions, and uh, I didn't want to get rid of them because of the packaging, like how adorable, but I feel like because I just didn't really like the shades that I got, that also made me feel like I didn't like the formula, but I just don't think I really love this formula, and I don't know if it's just these shades or what it is, but so this is Baby Spice. I mean, the pigment's crazy, but I feel like this came out to be much more neon pink than I was anticipating when I was looking at photos online, so that's just not a color I wear that's like true barbie pink which is fun but not my vibe personally and then celebrity skin i just feel like in the lip ammunition formula it's much more gray than the liquid lipstick you know what i mean and i don't love that undertone on me i just don't think it's very flattering so i am going to toss both of these these are also expired as well bummed on those what do you guys think about the jeffree star lip ammunition lipstick formula let me know in the comments below i just yeah i never got super into them but his liquid lipsticks i'm obsessed with so curious your thoughts my mac lipsticks i guess some of these oh gosh excuse me are definitely expired which makes me really sad because i also just feel sentimental towards mac okay let's just get right into it Okay, first shade, Fast Play, I'm definitely keeping. This is really pretty. This is like a mix between a mauve and a coral. I have the weirdest descriptions for lipsticks, but that is truly what I'm seeing. This is a shade that I recommend to all my friends when they ask me for a recommendation for something that's not just like a basic neutral nude, but something that's not too risky. This is what I always recommend, Fast Play, and they always love it. Keep. Retro, okay, this is really beautiful. I don't reach for it enough. That really looks like that Vice lipstick. I need to look. This is just like such a good fall, wintry shade. Again, I feel like I just don't reach for it enough because I have too many lipsticks. Let's put Trip next to it. <laughs> Crap. Almost identical. This one is slightly more orange toned. This one is slightly more purple and undertone. I probably don't need both of those, but I'm gonna keep them for now. Eh, we'll put them in the maybe pile. Fine, I'm forcing myself. Can they live there? Yeah, maybes. Okay, half and half, definitely keeping. This is one of my all-time favorites. I'm running low on it. It's just a true 
brown caramely nude. Love it. Gorgeous. Oh, mm, okay. Hot gossip. I am going to toss because it's expired. It looks so much more subdued here. Like that looks so pretty, but on the lips, it just looks like too pink for my liking. I love a good pink, but I just prefer pinks that are a little bit more toned down. And this just looks like a little too, a little too neon pink for me. It does not look neon here, but on my skin, you know, so gonna get rid of her. She's expired, but I need to keep that cap. Okay. And then here we have craving this bright pink. Mm, I'm going to put a maybe here to see if I have any other colors that are like this because like I said, I don't wear them often, but if I wanted it in a YouTube video, I want to be able to have that option. So maybe, but yeah, see, like look how pretty that looks. But when I put it on, I always regret it. This shade Viva Glam 5. This is so pretty. This is definitely expired. This is one of just like my OG faves, but as time has gone on, I just have worn it less and less. And the, it swatches really nicely. On the lips, it's definitely more of a sheer product. So this is perfect for those of you that want something that just gives your lips a little bit of life, but doesn't really look like you're wearing lipstick. You know what I mean? I love it. It's beautiful. I think over time, as it's honestly probably gone bad, I just don't love the way that it sits on my lips anymore. This specific formula, because it is a luster, I think just that happens so just be aware but like yeah that's so pretty it looks like a gloss you know amazing you guys know I love a gloss okay twig uh it's so pretty but like I just don't wear shades like this you guys I suck I really try to force myself to be adventurous but I think I have shades that are almost identical so this is going to be a maybe right now and I know which ones they are I remember from my lip swatch video. So Mare is another one. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't need both of these. So Twig is satin and Mare is matte. And honestly, I feel like I would rather keep the matte in this formulation because on myself, it's a little bit more of a deep pink and I don't want that to get slippy and slidey. So I'm going to keep Mare I will give Twig to my sister. Oh, cream in your coffee, one of my all-time favorites. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is a creme sheen. Is that how you say it, a cream sheen? But I just love that formulation. It's so comfortable, so flattering on the lips. Really beautiful mauve brown. She stays. Oh, creme de la femme. I'm definitely going to be retiring this. This needs to be tossed because she's expired but yeah I mean it's just a really purpley pink it's very like bright and girly and fun and it has a nice frosty finish and it's just not something I ever wear anymore but I used to love that okay Yash right here is such a good nude amazing with a gloss on top it's just like a matte brown nude sorry I feel like I'm getting aggressive okay Brick Olay or Brick O-L-A. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, that's looking really similar to these. Oh, it's definitely brighter than those. I'm going to keep this one too. Ugh, this is another one I used to wear all the time and I just kind of forget about. It's so pretty and I love it because it gives the red lip vibe without it being like something like Best Red from Milani, which is like you need to be in the mood for that. Like this is definitely more of just like a toned down red, which I love. Ugh, love it, Teddy. One of my all-time faves as well. Frickin' look at that. It's so good. Here, I'll put this next to Yash so you can see. Love it, Teddy is more of like a neutral to cool undertone. Yash is more of a brown to warm undertone. So up to you on what you prefer. This is so good. You guys saw it was almost, almost through with it. Then I have satin, this one, or not satin, I'm sorry, it is a satin. This is Spirit, so pretty. I just, this is one that I think I'm actually going to give to my sister. Even though it's beautiful, every time I put it on my lips, I feel like it ends up looking a little too gray for my liking. You know what I mean? And she may like that one better than me. So, I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. 
And then modesty. This is my all-time fave. It is so stunning. Look at that, you guys. It is just the most gorgeous, neutral pink. I call it the sisterhood of the traveling lipsticks because it is so universally flattering. That's pretty much the shade that all of my brides end up choosing because it's just so good. So yeah, mm -hmm. favorite ever, favorite ever. Now we are gonna go into my Morphe lipsticks. Here we go. First is a cream and it's called Rebound. That is so pretty, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think, I don't feel like I swatched anything yet that, oh, mm, is this gonna be just like Mare? I feel like Mare was more pink. Mm, they look very similar. Obviously the finish is different. This one's like a little bit more red. This one's a little bit more purpley. They look so, so similar though. I am going to donate that. I just don't think I need it. Let me pull all these out. Hey Sugar, another cream. Really pretty, more of a brown undertone. Ah, I feel like I need to keep that one. That one's a little bit unique because it does have that like brown undertone. Listen, I'm gonna call like all of these unique because they are pretty much all the same but subtle variations of each other, okay? So, don't come after me. Oh, I have one more MAC one. I forgot because it's in a different packaging. This is like one of their limited time offers with Patrick Star. It's a shade Mama Star and this is so good. If you can like happen to get your hands on it, find it anywhere, highly recommend. It's such a good shade. I'm gonna have to organize these at the end once I like get through my maybes. So we'll just place for now. Then we have Fling. This is a matte. I am going to donate that. We're getting really similar in here. And because it's not a shade I reach for a ton, I don't need that many variations of it. Next is Kissy Face. Ooh, I love this one. This is a mega matte, and this is just a really flattering peachy nude. I normally don't like peachy nudes on me because I just feel like they make my teeth look kinda yellow. It's just something's not right with it. I said this in the Morphe Lip Swatch video, their nudes are some of the most flattering nudes and neutrals I've ever seen. Like, they just work, and that's why I love them. Like, some of the ColourPop ones you'll see, they're really pretty and fun, but like, a little bit too orange to where it's like, mmm, that feels like dreamsicle vibe and not like wearable vibe. You know what I mean? So, anywho, ooh, this one I have to keep. This is called Dominate. It's a mega matte. It's so pretty. I love when a red like this is truly matte because then it's way more budge proof and you don't have to worry about it as much. But this one I always get compliments on when I wear it. Then we have Love Triangle. This is a cream. This I can feel falling apart. I talked about potential 911 issues. Okay, not 911 obviously, but in the lipstick world, 911 issues with the Morphe cream formula. Go watch that video if you wanna see, but I'm gonna give that to my sister. I will obviously tell her that that has a potential formulation issue, but I just, I know that I'm not gonna reach for it knowing that. Okay, we have Tempt. This is a matte. Yeah, I'm keeping this. This really reminds me of Spirit, but again, like there's just something slightly more wearable about this. I think it has a little more brown in it. Yep, there's a little bit more brown. This is a little bit more cool toned. All right, next we have Whipped. I feel like I need to put this here to see. Oh yeah. I don't even know what those are anymore, but they're looking identical. This one is just like a little bit more purpley and less brown. I maybe even got rid of the both of those, but I have a lot that looks just like this, so that's getting donated. Next is Single AF. This is good. I am keeping that one. Yep, such a good nude, just like a beigey pink. I love it. 
Bear All. I'm going to keep this too because this is the lightest nude I think I own in a lipstick. I have some Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks that are lighter, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, which is fun to mix with things. And also just with a gloss on top, if I want like a stark nude, I like it. Oh, this I'm keeping. Honey. Such a good matte brown. Yes. You guys, I have a type when it comes to lipstick. There's nothing wrong with having a type. Okay, last one is called Wifey. It's a matte another gorgeous just neutral nude i know it probably looks like everything else on my arm but to me she's different keep look at that and they perfectly fit in that row so it was meant to be okay so let's just finish out morphe while we're here i have one liquid lip from morphe this is in the shade virgin it's actually really pretty i don't know why i never reach for this i'm gonna keep that I like to have, you know, I know what you're thinking. This is the same color I just swatched 500 times, but I like to have different formulas of the same kinds of colors, you know, because my mood for formulas changes day to day. So I'm going to keep that. Eh, I'll put it over here for now. All of these are from Morphe, but they are glosses. So I'm not going to swatch all of these, but they actually all do have slight differences. And I really do like this gloss formula. So the first one is called Frosé and it's just a nice pink with like little flecks of purple and gold glitter throughout. You just won't be able to pick up on camera I feel like if I swatch that. So that one's really pretty. This one is called Shimmy and this is just a more like golden orangey gloss with little gold reflex in there. This is called Chill, Chill, and it's just a good brown nude gloss. This one is Flower Crown, and it's just a lighter brownish nude, maybe with like a hint of pale pink in there. And then the last one is called Boho, and this I would say is the like pinky one out of all of them. Is this one heinous? Ooh. Yeah, I've had this forever. I totally forgot about that. And I actually purchased a backup because I knew I was going to need to toss. So she's expired. Now that we have intermixed between all formulations of lipstick, let's go to these next. These are my Physician's Formula, the Healthy Liquid Lipsticks. I love this formula. However, there is something slightly vinegary about the scent of them. And you guys know I'm very particular about scents and cosmetics. And that makes me not want to recommend them, even though the formula is amazing. They just feel really lightweight, really good. Those look literally identical. Oh, man. But I am keeping this one because I'm obsessed with this shade. This is called All Natural Nude. And it is so flattering. Wow, those are really almost identical. Um, okay, but I'm keeping it, okay? So, this one is called Dose of Rose. I am going to donate that for sure. That's like really in that craving family from MAC, that bright pink that I just don't really ever wear. And this one is Berry Healthy. Oh, cute. Okay, so I actually think I'm going to keep this, even though I don't wear these shades a ton. I don't feel like I have one that I really swatched like that quite yet. And since I like the formula, we'll, we'll keep that one too. Okay, and now my straggler, my Kylie Liquid Lipstick, the one I have. I'm going to be honest, I like refused to buy her cosmetics forever. I was just like, I can't do it. I don't know why. I, I just did. I have nothing against them. I just, for some reason. But... I bought this liquid lipstick and I really love it. So this is in the shade Savage. It's just a beautiful peachy nude. I don't have a ton of lipstick shades with a peach undertone. So I am going to keep this because I also love the formula. I definitely want to try more of her liquid lipsticks. I don't know. Now I'm like tempted by her whole brand, you know, because I did have a good experience with that. I did. I did. Okay. And then let's go over here. So this is the MAC liquid lipstick. It's their retro matte liquid lip color in the shade Burnt Spice, and it looks like it's going to be this one's twin. Okay, so 
similar, but this one is more peachy brown. This one's more purpley brown. I really, really like this, and I really wish that MAC had better colors in this formula because I was looking at them the other day because I really enjoy the formula. It's nice and lightweight and just... It works, but they don't have a very good color range in it. Like, that's one of the few wearable shades that I saw in the store, at least. Maybe they have more online, but I was bummed on that. So, keeping that, that one's actually pretty new, too. So, we're going to do Jeffrey next because we got to go through this. So, his liquid lips. His liquid lips are so good. This one I know I am going to toss because not only is it expired, but this shade is just not something I wear on a daily basis. I mean, I think it's beautiful. It is just such a unique pinky purple shade. And even though it is bold, like I still felt like it was something that was wearable for me. Even though I had an evil ex-boyfriend who was like, wow, that's a lot of lipstick. I was like, no, it's not. It's just a lot of color that you're not used to seeing. Jerk. Anyway, now though, it's just not a color I go for a ton. Really pretty, but she's expired anyway. Okay, next Christmas cookie. I think this is my favorite shade. Oh, you guys, yes. Christmas cookie is so good. I definitely have a second one of this because I can't remember what I bought, but when I bought something from his site, I got it for free. So now I have two. I'm gonna need both for when that one runs out, but that is such a beautiful brownish nude. This formulation is so good. It's more liquidy, I would say, than moussey, and it dries really lightweight, and it feels very comfortable on the lips. This is Celebrity Skin. Such a classic. I mean, this one definitely has a gray undertone similar to that lip ammunition, but it's just not as dark, I think, which is why I can get away with it, and when I mix it with other colors or pair it with a gloss, I love it. What are you? Oh, Mannequin. Yeah, Mannequin is such a good nude. This one's definitely the lightest out of all of those so far and definitely more peachy. These are all truly different, so good job, Abby. Okay, these I picked up when I was at a Morphe store the other weekend, and I got them mainly because I want to mix them with other shades. So this is Skin Tight. It's a very pale pink on its own. It's just not really something I can rock, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could try it like a couple different ways. It is pretty. Maybe I need to try again when I'm fair. I feel like with the gloss, I actually could. I just have been using self tanner a lot recently and then it's too fair, but that something like that is just perfect to mix with other things. And same thing here with I'm Nude. Ooh, very light brown, but like, you know, if I mix that, I'm just gonna do it with some celebrity skin. Like beautiful, right? So that's something I feel like people just don't do enough. And it's probably because on YouTube, they're just trying to make it easier for people and only use one lip product, but you can completely transform a lipstick. Like if you have five lipsticks, you can also have combinations of all of them too. You know what I mean? Which I love. So keeping all of those, I love that formula. If you don't have any Jeffree Star liquid lips, you kind of need to. Now let's do color pop. So let's start with these since they're in the way. This Lux Velvet formula. I did really like it in my swatch video and I have liked it. However, I've noticed that the longer that I wear them, I get this like weird line of separation on my lips and it starts to look a little bit funky. So that's a big bummer. And that's the one downside of doing first impression videos is that you don't really get the longer wear and get the opinion of wearing it either for multiple days or for longer amounts of time, you know? So anyway, I, uh, I don't know what to keep out of these. Let's do the ones I for sure want to toss. This one right here, Puddin, I'm going to... That's so unique though. I actually don't have anything like that. Dang, okay, just kidding, I'm keeping that one. This is like just a really cool orange color. With these, I just am going to for sure wear all of them with lip liner because that helps them from breaking up so much. So, okay, yeah, I guess we're actually keeping that one. That's cool, that was Puddin. This genie, let's see. I just don't really remember what these look like. 
That one I can definitely donate. Similar to stuff I already have, a little bit more on the coral vibe. Donation. Can you even? This is one of my favorites. This looks a lot like honey from Morphe, but since it's a different formula, I will keep it. Casual dress. So I am going to donate this one. This definitely is more of like a caramely brown. And as you can see here, it's like similar kind of vibe, but this one has more oranginess in the undertone. This one's more like beige. I want this one. We'll donate. Okay, this one, Air Kiss. Let's see. I'm gonna donate that. I just, I don't really wear shades like this hardly ever. And I don't really want to buy a lip liner just for that. Get money. Yeah, I'm going to donate that for sure. I don't love that kind of color on me. It's just like a reddish, rusty brown. This is a one a video that I did where I bought like just this whole collection when it launched. And normally when I am doing a lip swatch video, I'm just showing you guys lipstick shades that I personally love and wear all the time, so that's why most of these I'm like, eh, because I wouldn't have purchased them individually. This one I'm definitely going to donate. This one's Buttercup. I mean, don't get me wrong, pretty. It's just like, like I said, I have a type. This one, Hermosa, very deep dark color. Ooh. And do you see what I mean anyway? Like, I mean, this is not meant to be a full one swipe pigment lip product. Like, that's not what they intended it to be, which it's not. But yeah, it gets streaky in there and that's where it's tricky with these darker colors and you definitely would want a lip liner. I'm gonna keep this for Halloween just in case cause you never know. It is pretty, it's really unique. That's like purpley. Southbound. So that's, it's like the same kind of vibe but this one's just more red. I am going to donate that because I feel like some of my other lips like lip products cover that. Lucky Cat. Sorry, I'm like just dropping these everywhere. This kind of reminds me of that like Vice lipstick that I swatched, the Comfort Matte. Same kind of vibe, so I definitely don't need this. Daily Dose. Ooh! I'm actually for sure keeping this. A bright orange on tan skin is everything, and I don't have any bright oranges. That one's gonna be tricky though. I'm gonna definitely need to find an orange lip liner. Big bang. Okay, this one I actually really like. I'm gonna keep this as well, because I can just use a red lip liner. This is just such a pretty red. I really like that, and I don't feel like any of my other reds have that kind of vibe going on. I like. Keep it coy. This one's really light. That one I am going to donate. I just don't think I will reach for it. I feel like with this type of shade, I like really want the pigment to be there. And then broom service. Did I already swatch this? Uh, oh, I don't know that I did. Unless that's that. It looks very similar. If it's not, sorry, but gonna donate. Last in the bullet lipsticks, all of my ColourPop lipsticks. This is my most recent lip swatch video. Okay, let's do this. I'm keeping all of these Valens ones. They're so pretty. I love the ColourPop lipsticks. Formula is so good. They're so inexpensive. They're all so pigmented. Like, I just love them. So this is Hades. This one is Dr. Facilier. And this one is Evil Queen. Oh my gosh. Sorry. And this one is Evil Queen, which is one of the most intense reds I've ever seen. And I love how it's very matte. I love all of these. This one, <laughs> it's one of the Disney Princess ones. It's Cinderella. I'm definitely donating that because it just did not turn out how I was hoping. It's much more of a bright, vibrant violet than I can get away with wearing. Okay, so Ariel, I actually have two of these because this one broke on me right after I ordered it and they were super awesome with their customer service and sent me a new one. So I'm gonna go through this and use this and then I will open my new one, but that is such a beautiful peachy nude. 
This is a really good example of one that's very wearable because it still has that peach undertone, but it's mixed with the right amount of brown. It's deep enough to make it wearable, so it's not like bright, you know? I love it, so pretty. Okay, still crazy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that. That's so good. And to be honest, I don't feel like anything I've swatched so far is exactly that. Like it's a little more pink than some things, a little more purple or a little bit darker. I'm gonna say that, I'm saying it. I'm sticking to my guns. Okay, oops, gosh, sorry. Next is Oasis. This is their Velvet Blur formula, which I actually really enjoy. It feels very nice on the lips. And I think there was a shade that was almost identical to this. What is it? Oh, is it this? Hey, Mr. DJ. Um, no. Was it this? <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we're getting rid of this one that completely broke. Sad. I'll just show you guys the color. This is Mesmerize. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Those two are just basically identical. So Oasis and Mesmerize. I guess we're throwing away Mesmerize because that's broken. And then Oasis. I'm going to keep this one. I really like that one. I am going to donate Hey Mr. DJ. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is going to be just the messiest declutter of all time. Because this is one of the ones that's just definitely too coral for my personal liking. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a joke. Okay, keep Oasis. Alright, we have Uno Moss right here. This is a really, really pretty peachy orangey nude. Here's kind of what I was saying. It's just like almost too orange to be super flattering on a lot of skin tones. But when I mix it or I use a gloss that kind of helps... On its own, it's just like, oh, wow, you went like orange today, you know? I'll show you it next to Quickie. Because it's kind of similar, but this one's definitely more of like a butterscotch brown. This has like more pink in there. But again, it's something that I can like get away with. Okay. Sorry, I'm going all over the place. Actually, let's do Appy because... That's closest to, okay. I don't need all three of those. I just don't. Okay, okay, okay. Goodbye, Quickie. We're gonna keep Appy. That's the most wearable out of all of them, I would say. Yeah. Okay, I feel good about that decision. I'm confident. Now we have Pinkies Up. This is beautiful. This reminds me of Spirit, actually, but this one's just a little bit deeper, and when I have self-tan on, and I put gloss on top of that, sorry, I sound like a broken record, but that's just what I do. I love how that looks. Come on, sis. This one's beautiful, so this one is just more of like a true mauve, and I don't really have a ton that are true mauves anymore, so we get to keep you. CA Love, this is a velvet blur. This one's really pretty. So compared to Pinkies Up, it's definitely more of a warm toned brown, like a toffee brown. So, I mean, sorry, I'm keeping it. Y2K, another velvet blur. Uh, I don't feel like I need this one. It's giving me similar vibes here, but it's just a little bit more mauve. I feel like I've got a couple others that are close to that. And since I don't wear that kind of color a ton, donate. Two more, three more in the ColourPop range. LA Lady. Oh, oh yes. Similar to this, but definitely deeper. And I just love that for a fall lip color. That's everything to me. 21 questions. Let's do that. Yes, amazing. And that one's truly unique. It's like just a really orangey red. That's another velvet blur. And the best for last. This is my favorite. It's so effing good. It's called Layover. This is my summer shade with a gloss. Do I need to say anything else? Moving on.
that one we are all done i will organize it all after this i'm feeling good Okay, here is one of the Wet n Wild products I used in that Wet n Wild video. This is their Megalast Liquid Cat Suit. It's in the shade Send Nudes, and yeah, it's incredible. Such a good gloss. Okay, we have this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Snow Day. I'm not going to swatch all the glosses because I just don't think it shows up that well on camera, but this one has like a lot of pigment to it. Um, this is called Snow Day. It's just a really pretty girly pink with like little golden flecks throughout. I love that one. This I am going to donate. This is an Amore Shine liquid lip color. So this is again one that has a lot of pigment. It's fine. I just, I didn't love it wearing it. It's like a really caramely nude. I don't know if that's the way to describe that. Didn't love it. And same goes for this, this Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. It's just so starkly light and has so much pigment to it that it's like you can't even really use this to mix with other colors because it's so light and has so much pigment and it's so glossy, you know? So it's just not really something I can benefit from in my collection. Okay, we're gonna get mixed in here with glosses and liquid lips just because I put these in here based on like the size of the tube and the packaging. So this is a ColourPop liquid lipstick. Their Ultra Satin liquid lipsticks are my favorite liquid lip formula, honestly, maybe ever. They are so comfortable. They feel amazing. The pigmentation is beautiful. They're just so good. I don't like a dry liquid lip. However, I feel like they have like six shades when I last looked, so I don't know if they're relaunching these or something. Something feels fishy, but they've gotten rid of so many and I'm very upset about it. This is Calypso, another one of my all-time favorites for the summer with a deep tan and a gloss. However, this one's for sure expired. And this is another one that I came prepared with an extra for. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to set these out to the side because I'm going to start to get confused here. This shade, another ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip called Canoodle. This one is one of the more... Oh my gosh, it's not that unique. This really reminds me of like Mare and Twig, but again, like I said, I like to have different formulations. This one's really pretty. It definitely looks uh, really pinky on my lips, which is pretty. And that's something I wear a ton. Buxom Glosses, some of my favorite of all time. This is White Russian. It's amazing. I love it so much. However, I will say this is one that's definitely a little bit lighter. You're not gonna really be able to see it. Oh, you can a little bit. So it for sure lightens the color of any lipstick you use, just FYI. Then I have Aquarius. Oh, this is G2G, so pretty. So this is the Gloss Aquarius from ColourPop. We can see she's been through a lot. Really, really pretty though, and that has good pigment actually. Okay, as cute as this packaging is, these get destroyed and look junky so easily. I wish they would do something to fix that. Really bugs me. This is a She Knows Cosmetics Collagen Gloss. That one's not gonna really show up. I love this one. It's really unique. It's like brown, but has like bluish glitter flecks in there, which kind of makes it iridescent. And these are just so good. Like the collagen gloss feels incredible on the lips. It's one of my favorite gloss formulas. It's just really lightweight. It's good. I have a discount code with them. I will link it below if you're interested. Okay, this, oh my gosh, this is the gloss from Jeffree Star. It's the shade Diamond Juice. I tried this and I was like, oh, no way. It, okay. I think Buxom is still my favorite because it's just like my classic all-time favorite, but this comes in second place. I was blown away at this formula, how it feels on the lips. Like, I'm trying to see if it smells. No, it's just got like a very faint, sweet smell. It feels so amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I need every single shade. So good. Yeah, we're keeping. Oh, Alyssa. I am pretty sure this was discontinued. I looked on their site recently and I didn't see it. Like I said, they have like six shades at this point. This is one of my all time favorite liquid lip colors. Like it is so pretty. Just a really pretty purpley pink nude. Again, expired so bad yeah so i have a backup 
And now this literally might be my last one from them. Okay, these two I am getting rid of for sure. I never reach for them. I've had them for so long. They're Kat Von D. This is the shade Lolita, and this is Lolita too. Let me show you in case you're curious. They're just too dark for me. Like, too dark? Nope. I never wear stuff like that. And this one is just too orange. So... Mm. I don't really get what the obsession is with those shades. I feel like, again, this was one of those things where that was kind of like in back in 2016 timing. That like deep mauve, that Kylie Jenner lip color. I just, eh, it's not really for me. So this one is insane. That's Kiss Mint from ColourPop. Pretty sure it no longer exists. Neon orange. I don't think I've ever worn it, to be honest, but I'm keeping it so that I force myself to. Renmin gorgeous red from ColourPop that I don't think they have. Echo Park, this is one of my favorites of all time. Such a gorgeous nude, so pretty. Keep, keep. And I think this, no, I have a couple more. This is November. This is kind of like a corally pink. And even though I don't really usually like coral, I think that this one works. So keeping, because that one's definitely a unique pink for me not unique pink in general this is aquarius and this is such a good nude such a good nude oh my gosh keeping even though that one's old but i'm not through with it yet okay this one magic wand i think i'm going to oh that looks so good though gosh dang it okay i'm gonna keep that because that is not what I thought it was. I don't know why I thought that this was way lighter. Don't you think like in the tube it looks like it would be way lighter? This one's more brown. This one's more beigey pink. So mm, I need to keep both of those because like I said, that's like my favorite formula of all time. And then I just have more glosses. Oh wait, one more. Uh, so she said. This one's unique for me as well. I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a ruby magenta or something. I don't know. Really pretty. Good fall shade, keeping. These are all buxom glosses, so I have a white Russian for when I run out of my other white Russian, which is gonna be soon. I have Sugar, which is one of my favorite shades from them. This is like tied with white Russian. It's totally different though. It's definitely more of like a brownie mauve with flecks of glitter in it, so I love it. It's a little bit deeper too, so it's not gonna lighten the lip. And then that's an extra for when I run out. And then I have Sandy, which is just a good like peachy gloss. Love those. Okay, so I know we have empty holes. We are not perfectly organized, but I just realized I need to do a new makeup organization video anyway. So we'll save that for that. And I'm definitely gonna have more lipsticks coming in before that anyway. So we won't waste our time now. <sighs> Who's overwhelmed? <laughs> So that is it for this lipstick declutter video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite lipsticks were, either formula or shade. If you're gonna purchase any after this video, kind of what you're thinking, or which lipsticks you are ready to get rid of from your collection. Very curious. So sound off below. We'll chat in the comments. Of course, if there's anything you would like to see from me next on this channel, leave that in the comments as well. I would love to do that for you. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. So until then, I hope you have a great few days.